Greetings and welcome back to Monster Legends. All right, we have a couple of things going here, so why don't we take a look at the news? So the Wasteland Day Island is now gone, and we have the uh, Wasteland Night Island, and of course this one features the Baroness. So we're going to take a look at that, but it's very similar to what we just saw. It's just her instead of uh, you know the uh, other dude. So. All right, and of course, Igursus Path is now open. It's been open for uh, more than a day now, so hopefully you're making progress there. We'll be seeing my progress in a moment. Um, they have a Nemesis Survival Dungeon. If you have lots of Nemesis creatures and you want to get some stuff, there you go. Um, they're currently doing something new in uh, Monster Wood. Uh, videos will get you a random uh, elemental cell. Which can be very useful. So, I mean, if you want to get some, you know, it's random. But you know what? They're all kind of useful, you know. They always end up having a use. So, if that's something you're interested in, uh, at the time of recording, it's about a day and 16 hours of this left. It was a total of three days. I guess Team Battlegrounds are coming soon. All right. And, of course, uh, the newest um, War Masters who are available. You know, if you're interested, go after them. Uh, I'm good to. I already started working on Elvira. And next time she comes around, I'll be a little bit more serious about it. Okay, so that's going on with that. Let's just take a look at this new island we have here. Um, yeah, you know what? I think after the first two chests, actually, actually it's three chests, isn't it? It was only two chests the first time, wasn't it? Yeah, I guess they're going three chests. After that, I'm not even going to care. I'm not. What is this one anyway? Oh, a legendary, or so it could be a legendary in there. Okay, I'm sure it's a pretty small chance, but all right, I'm just going to go after the chests because you know I have her, I have her to 110, so I would need 290 cells to rank her up. And uh, no, I'm not going to do that. Uh, in terms of the previous guy, I didn't end up getting the uh, the 65. I did a little wheeling and dealing in my team and ended up getting. Um, a total of 83 of him. This is uh, Sting Westclaw, I think, or something, his name like that. And uh, I can actually craft him now. Uh, I got it down, to, I got the 65 down to, um, I think it was like 86 or 87 gems, and it just wasn't worth it to me uh, because I don't really have a lot of gems, and that's kind of a lot. So, I mean, I already had him, so I decided I wasn't going to do that. Uh, in this case, like I said, I just don't need her at all, so I'm just going to go for these chests. And I'm going to try not to spend a single gem. So that's what my plan is. All right, in terms of Igursus, where am I down? Okay, so I've gotten all the way down to here, and I think I can move it again. We got a spin of the wheel. More, more of those little coins would be good. Okay, I'll take Firestorm. I'll take some Firestorm cells. Right, okay, so there is the egg. I don't know if I can get there. I don't, I don't. And uh, there is a reason why you see those Agursus cells way down here. Because if you've reached the point in which I've reached, you have 75, which of course isn't enough to craft. So obviously that one right there will allow you to craft him, even if you don't get to the egg. So, yeah, the thing about it is if you have a couple of extra, all you'd need is five, then you can craft them right there. I, I don't know um, whether or not I'll actually be able to get that. I'd like to get that gold relic. I'd like to get the cells. I'd like to get the little scroll, if nothing else, because I do have two of them already. And uh, remember, the prize in terms of chests you get is determined by the number of scrolls you get. I mean, I'd like to, I'll try to get as far as I can. Um, I'm, nearly, I'm nearly at the food here, if you see. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, but, you know, the thing is, I would really like to obviously get the cells. I would like to get the, uh, the egg as well. So we'll see. I mean, there's a whole little batch in here of things that I would really like to get right after the combat. You know, basically, I'd like to get all of it, right? So we'll see what happens with that. I ended up getting, like, two or three more groups of cells after the uh, Bartgar one. So I can get him to 115, and I'm actually already working on that. As you can see, I have the first egg in there right now. As soon as that one is uh, done, I will be uh, swapping in another one. All right, is there anything else that we got going here? Unfortunately, the crazy days is over, so we can't get good. I didn't buy anything because I didn't see anything that I really wanted. So that's that.
And I do believe that that is that. So I guess we're going to have this little progression we have here with uh, the Baroness for a while. We still have the Gersus path until tomorrow morning. And then, of course, we're going to have a Haxter one. Now, considering how slow it is now, I think there's I'm probably not going to get enough to rank him up. Although I wouldn't mind blowing a lot of Elementium to actually push him along. If I, if I could get the 75, I might just do it, you know? Because I would like him to be a little bit faster. So we'll see how that works out. Yeah, not much else going on. And yeah, down here, I can see I cleaned it out because, you know, those elemental cells, they're actually kind of useful every once in a while. So let's talk about war. We actually won the last two wars. Yes, we did indeed. We came back and we won the last two wars. And let's just jump into this one right now and we'll see how this is going. Uh, we have a lead. This is good. We've attacked more, but we do have a lead. This is kind of good. Uh, the combo is nature and darkness and earth. So there's some stuff going on here. It's usually a good sign when you go in there and it's pointing at seven, you know, even though I'm not doing that one. No, I'm not. I'm, that's way too much speed for me. And that is, that's death for me. All right. What about this one? I uh, might be able to do that. would be risky. I actually looked at this already, and I have a desperate plan. So we're going to see how the desperate plan works out. All right. So, yeah, once I throw in um, Indigo, I count on him being able to kill everybody, right? So the thing is, I'm giving him two opportunities here to do that. So the, obviously the big thing I need to do is I need to neutralize the... Um, the, the Prince Flawless, right? He's the one who means the most. Now, obviously, I wouldn't, this guy down here is a little bit tricky too, but he's the one I need to neutralize. The problem is, I do believe that he is, he's hardened, right? So I'm going to take two shots at this. We're going to see how this works out. I'm just like a gamble here, but I'm going to go for it. All right, so I have two shots. First, we're going to do freezing. And that worked perfectly, actually. That worked very well. Okay, so in this case, we don't really have to do anything, so I'm just going to, you know, I'm going to bump him on the head again. Okay, obviously he gets to go, but, you know, I'm not really very concerned about him. That's the reason I didn't, I didn't care that I knew I wasn't going to, uh, I mean, mind you, if he'd done his stomp, he probably would have killed us all. All right, now obviously the first individual I want to get rid of is right here. Okay, didn't get that down. That's not good. Ouch! That, that's kind of ugly. Um, yeah, the problem is now I didn't get the weakness on him. So I am going to start eliminating targets over here, I suppose. And that will get rid of him. I'm waiting for the epic quest to come around again. Oh, he's got regeneration on. Not a big deal. All right. And then he's going to do that again. Okay, but we should be able to... Yep, yeah, he's finished. All right, let's see what we can do about you. We've still got lots of stamina left here. All right. Okay, so the gamble... The gamble was successful because I was able to get the freeze down. If I didn't get the freeze down, I was going to try for the stuns. So as long as I had the Prince Charmless nullified, we get the win, right? See, that's what Prince Charmless lets you do. He's going to kill the other side. He just requires the opportunity to do it. That's assuming you have him configured the way that I do. You know, uh, People like to put a lot of speed on him, which I just don't understand, because it doesn't help with his fighting ability. You know, That's when I look at it. I want him to destroy, right? As a matter of fact, I really do need to upgrade his uh, damage rune, because I think I have an 8. I might as well throw it on him, right? I mean, he is my main dude. I mean, if you're putting speed on him, you want him... I, I would rather have the rest of the team you know, be responsible for getting him to go, you know, as opposed to putting speed on him. It just doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, in that case, support speed would actually make more sense than just a straight speed, and certainly not health. That doesn't make any sense at all. All right, so let's see. Now, obviously, we're going to be stepping down a little bit here. Um, that may be a problem. 
Well, let me throw my other team together here. Now, obviously, I don't want to mess with any more Prince Charmoses because I'm done with that. All right, let's see. Now, I can do... Let me see. I could do possession. I got two possessions here to do with. All right, why don't we try Fido over here? And then in this case, I could... Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, actually, let's just get really ugly here. There we go. That's... That's kind of scary looking. That's kind of very scary looking. I don't think that um, 60 and you're going to be... Oh, you're not fast enough. No, you're not. Um, what are you immune to? Poison. If I get the... Um, if I get the possession down, it's going to be great. If I miss it, I'm in a lot of trouble. It's a gamble. Let's go. All right. Um, please don't miss the dude. Don't please don't miss a lot of them. Okay, that perfect. Just perfect. Okay, that worked out very nicely. Ouch. Okay, he gets another turn now, though, does he? No, he doesn't. Okay. Yeah, you know, you notice whenever the AI runs him, he always uses the one that doesn't give the extra turn. You know, uh, Bestial Hits, the big one down here. I just noticed that Bestial Hits has a capital I. You know, I just noticed that. Instead of a little I, it's got a capital I. Why does it have a capital I? That looks weird now. That I'm not going to be able to unsee that now. Um, by the way, uh, I'm thinking we got some death coming your way, guys. Yep. That would be a whole lot of death. And wait till he's 115. Wow, just so very ugly. Okay, so you get to have some fun. Alrighty. Okay, the fact that I got those wins at the top has, makes me feel very good about our chances of winning this. So uh, their power is slightly below ours. We're like um, a million and a half to like a million and four. But uh, I have uh, high hopes for us. I have high hopes for us. I would like to get a nice winning streak down. Like I said before, we have two in a row already. I certainly wouldn't mind three. I wouldn't mind a lot more than just three. But I do realize if we get pushed into the upper league, things will get ugly very quickly. But in the meantime, let's just try to win when we can. And... Uh, not much else around, so why don't we just talk about some PvP? Because I do have some teams here, and we're going to uh, we're going to utilize them. Yeah, my trophy count has been going down, but I think everybody else has been going down faster, given what I'm looking at here. So yeah, this could be end up being a little bit of an issue. So hopefully we can get lucky. Hopefully we can get lucky. All right, so let's just start. Uh, by the way, there were a lot of teams uh, available. Oh, that reminds me. I Just a quick reminder. If I make a feeding video on somebody, that means that there's 60 until there's a testing video. So I know there was at least two, there possibly three people who asked for Shade Moon. Shade Moon is not going to be usable until he has his testing video. That might be tomorrow, by the way. Um, so that's just a reminder. If there's a feeding video, don't ask for them immediately. You know, wait till I get the testing video done. Um, another one is going to be, she's going to be in there too, is Countess Flawless. You know, it's interesting that I might end up doing a poll regarding this. Is that in the video, people have a tendency to suggest names. A couple of times, apparently the obvious selection of Elizabeth was made. So I'm not really sure if that's referring to the character from Bioshock Infinite or perhaps the Queen of England. I know the Queen of England is like immortal and evil. So, I mean, it doesn't really look like her though. You know, I'm just surprised that no one thought of the one that I thought was the most obvious, which was Maleficent. She kind of looks a lot like Maleficent, you know. So I might throw a poll up between the two of them, you know, because I, I was like, okay, are you guys talking about somebody that I don't know? Maybe there's another Elizabeth reference? I don't know. I don't know. I might actually throw a poll in the uh, community section of my uh, YouTube page for that one just because. 
I mean, I was, I was about to name her Maleficent, but I was looking like, w w where are you guys getting Elizabeth from? I, I don't get that. All right, well, anyway, let's start with some teams. Let's start with some teams. Our first team was suggested by the mythical, immortal, overpowered Shadow Wolf. This is a relief to me. I didn't realize there was anyone else who was mythically immortal and overpowered. It's nice to know that there's others. Anyway, uh, this individual with the long name, I guess I'll just say Shadow Wolf, uh, wanted to see... Um, actually, he's probably not too far from the top. He's going to be sitting on top really soon, though, and that's going to be Sparta. Uh, next up, we have... Actually... Back for a second. Um, Simba! Simba's actually next. I didn't realize he was sitting over there. So we have Simba up next. So already you can see that's going to be a deadly combination. A very deadly combination. Okay, next, finally, I should say, not next, but finally we have... He's here somewhere. A drummer! Okay, I, I keep forgetting to name him Keith. I really do. I keep forgetting to name him Keith. I'm going to have to remember that. Unfortunately, he still has, you know, two lock slots. So uh, that's another reason I was holding on, wanted to hold on to the gems, is I'm hoping that another um, a discount for unlocking rune slots will be coming soon. You know, that kind of thing. Because that's very, very useful. And I have some individuals I really want to work on regarding that. All right, let's look around. Um... It really all depends on whether or not um, and who goes first, right? Well, it usually always depends. I mean, we don't have any denial here. The denial is um, Simba having Sparta go and Sparta killing everyone. Well, he'll kill, he might kill two of them. It really depends if they have health on them or not. So I don't want to do up the middle. Up the middle is like a big problem. You know, I'm going to try something really terrifying. Let's do the team on the right. Because that's just scary. If he's really fast, and I got a big problem. He's not really fast. Oh, wow. Inheritor has nothing on. Oh, come on, he's got to have one slot open. Put a damage on him, you know? I mean, he's got to have one open, right? Okay, let's go. All right, I wonder who the targets are going to be. Okay, let's just see who the targets are going to be. First off... Yeah, I was kind of hoping that the um, the whirlwind would pop up, right? All right, let's see. Um, yeah, boom, you're dead. Okay, you know, as dangerous as uh, Yentech is, um, yeah, there's my target. Okay, you know, he's actually taking care of his business already. Just saying. You know, that really should have been your target. Did he do the single target one? He looked like he did the single target instead of the group version. Um, so if that's what it happened, it was a misplay. I don't know. Did he miss the other two? I don't remember seeing a miss message. I mean, even if he had stunned all of us, what would it have mattered? You know, denial by itself isn't really very useful. You really need, like, damage dealers, and that's who I took care of, right? All right, so that was team number one, and team number one was successful. Team number two was suggested by Seti Talon, and Seti wanted to see... We're going to start over here. Someone who's hoping for an update soon. A firmware update, perhaps, and that's going to be Melvin. Next up, we're going over to Fire... And somebody who's very, very useful and very annoying on the other side, that's Hedwick. Not Hedwick, but just when there's a Yamada on the other side. They're very annoying. And finally, apparently the new star, because a couple of people have asked for him now. Um, a couple of people, yeah, he made his first appearance and now he says that. A couple of people asked for him. But uh, this is going to be Alan. Yeah, I know. I, I don't know. First time when I saw him, for some reason, the second... The third Jurassic Park was ringing in my head, that scene when the Velociraptor was talking to the guy and says, I don't know why it was it jumped into my head, but that's the reason I named him that. What does that have to do with an alien-like creature? I have no idea, but that's what jumped into my head. 
All right, so um, we got stuff going here. We got support. We got some damage. We got Melvin. Melvin can cause chaos in the ranks. Um, the uh, Of course, McBlood in the middle is immune to all forms of possession, so I would like to avoid that one. Um, we could take, okay, yeah, I was about to say we could go after the goat, but, you know, we got a vault over there, too, and possessions really don't work too very well over there. Uh, we could do, uh, could do the one on the, um, the right, so why don't we just go ahead and do that one. Okay, a lot of uh, health on that one in the front. We got no speed at all. We got damage and health. All right, let's see how... Uh, they deal with Melvin and his friends. We are all going first. Isn't that amazing? Well, Black Hat. Which I consider to be a far superior skill than um, Countess Flawless' skill. Because, again, it's an exclusive um, possession. So it goes right through regular possession protection. All right, let's see. I'm thinking what we do here is uh, precision. Yeah, precision. Who's going to get this? You're going to get this. Yes, because precision is so important these days. All right, let's think. Why don't we just poison all of you? Because that's a good thing. And now you can all play amongst yourselves. And what'd you do that to him for? He didn't do anything. Trait disable. I, I don't know if it's the position of the skills, but I don't know why she always leads with that. It makes her a lot less terrifying. Okay. Don't do that. All right, let's see. Um, she's going to be harder to kill, so why don't we just... Ah, double damage and hack. That could actually be a problem. Let's... I got time to recover. Let's do this. Okay, good, good, good. I got the hack down and the double damage. Uh, you can just take a time out. Okay, what do we have here? And damage boost. Okay. Trust the owl. All right, let's see. What do you have here? Dark damage. That, that doesn't. It kills him down below, and that's not a bad thing. Very heavy, and the bleeding steals 100%. He's not damaged, though. I'll do this one here, uh, because it's just going to kill him outright. Okay, you didn't have anything you could have done? That's interesting. All right, you're going to charge. Let's see. Um, yeah, let's get the let's get the precision back, and let's just finish it. Right, slaughter bites deals very heavy special damage, and bleeding the bleeding will not be necessary. A star is born. Alrighty, and team number two was victorious. A rune. Eh, that's better than food and money. All right, so let's uh, go with our third team. Our third team was suggested by HDTK787. And HDTK wanted to see, let's start with Thunder and Zap. Uh, next up, we're going over to Water for a team who's sitting over here now. And this is Kame and, of course, uh, the dragon, right? And finally, for the last one, uh, you actually gave me the name Kryptan, which, by the way, would be an awesome darkness name if those guys actually want to use it. Uh, but since there isn't actually a Kryptan, I assume that you meant Cryotan. So I am going to assume you mean that. And we're going to put in... Right, we're going to put in Cryotan. It's close enough, but Krypton would actually be a cool darkness creature, you know, like some kind of a grave thing. Anyway, uh, this is an interesting team. Let's see what we got going here. Not doing up the middle. There's an epic there, and they're not doing... Okay, wh what happened to the teams all of a sudden? We've been winning, and the trophies have been going up here. 
All right. Um, do I want to mess with that other team? See, the problem... Oh, let me think. What am I going to do here? See, here's the thing. Okay, so if I try to use Kami's ability to possess and freeze, it's not going to hit the Shade Moon because it's a group attack. Which means he's probably going to go before Zap. Now, killing him won't be a problem because, again, Zap. Um, this is probably a huge mistake, but I'm going to do it anyway. Oh, he has no runes on him at all. Why have a one? Why have a one ten shade moon with no runes at all? I, I why put him on? Def oh, okay, maybe I'm guess maybe the uh, computer. No, I mean this is PvP. You had to have put him there yourself. Uh, I don't know. I was looking for a challenging. Okay, he's doing the area. So this is not going to work on him if I do this, uh, even if I target him. Right. Right, but you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna kill him. Although it may be a little hard because he's got a lot of health. Even without ruin, I didn't realize he was gonna have that much health. I know he was very tanky. I just didn't realize he was gonna have that much. Did you just miss him? No, I don't think you did. Um, yeah, actually, I'm gonna have a probably trouble killing him. Oh, that was, don't miss that. Don't, don't, don't. don't. I, think you, I think you may have just gotten me in a lot of trouble now. Um, that may have been very costly. No, I'm not going to be able to kill him now. Oh, it's just going to be short. Is there something else I can do? I can't do anything else. How much would this one be? 30? I, w I still won't be able to kill him. Oh, that is annoying. That miss was just very bad. All right, um, all right. Let's just see what he's gonna do. Oh, he's evading now. Right. Okay, he's evading. Literally, there's nothing he can do. So I might as well just charge. I mean, if he could taunt, I would use that. But he can't. So. Let's think. I'm just going to do this. Because he's going to die anyway. The guy up there is already dead from the freezing damage. I, I, there's nothing I can do. I have to wait for him to, get to, to, to be able to uh, act again. Alright, what now? Okay, that and then what? And then Spirit Hater. That was very anticlimactic. Okay, do you still have a vein on? Wait a minute, really? Well, that's annoying. Um, I guess we're going to sit around waiting again. Yep, not a lot I can do here. Eh, just going to wait. Okay, he's got the curse on him. Well, guess what? Okay, I need... Uh, oh, he, doesn't, he doesn't have a single target, does he? Everything he's got is like... So he doesn't even matter at that point, right? Oh, no, that actually... What, wait, wait a minute. What? Was that only a temporary thing? Oh, st okay, so that goes away. So he doesn't keep that. He only has that for the beginning, like a war master. Oh, I didn't realize that. Oh, okay. All right, well, you know, it's, it's kind of not this one here. I might as well just do this one because it's over now. Okay, that's interesting. I was not aware of that because I haven't tested with him yet. Okay.
It's a shame he didn't have any runes. That might have been a lot more fun. You know, terrifying and such, but that would have been a lot more fun. I mean, put something on him, right? He's 110, and you put him on your, like, PvP team, you know? I mean, he's got to have one slot open, right? Okay, so let's just pop out for a second. And go over here, and grab this, and then get the extra attack, and then go back, and let's go in, and go for our final team. Our final team today was suggested by Urian Durgadi. I'm sorry, I know I butchered that. And uh, this individual wanted to see... Let's see, this is going to be starting with Felix, the wonderful cat. And next up, we're going to go with a lady who's going to be very helpful for this. And that's going to be Dorothy. And finally... Over to darkness for somebody who is uh, the bossy type. All right, we got Simon here. So we got, we got light in the middle and dark on the outside here, right? Okay, so let's see what we're going to do here. Now, technically speaking, I guess the only denial we really have, we have possession. If I was to have um, Dorothy let Felix go first. But that would be kind of a waste, wouldn't it? I mean, why not just go with decimation here? I'm thinking maybe up the middle. I'm thinking up the middle. Why don't we try that? If there's... Okay, there's no speed. No, there's, there's not really any speed, really. What is this? After being hit, a random... St okay, that's not very useful. In other words, it's not scary. I shouldn't say it's not useful. It's not scary. Okay, he's got a charging mass on, but I'm not taking stamina away. Okay, that's not... A, none of those are really a problem. All right, let's just see what the uh, landscape looks like. All right. Um, yes, they, they got a lot of health. That's a thing. They got a lot of health. So I'm thinking I might actually go with the possession. Thing is, I don't want Gretchen to go crazy on us. How much would this do? Not anywhere near enough. All right. Let's go for the possessions. Oh, thank you very much. That was very kind of you. Um, now, why don't we just go with the damage? Uh, angry, uh, whatever that word is. And then fists. Oh, that's ugly. Okay, luckily they weren't going after Simon, who's going to kill all of them. All right, so let's see whether or not we can just end this. The Gretchen might survive. That assumes he hits everybody, too. Wow, and all of that was just taken off by his shield, too. Yeah, he's a, he lost the health from the shield. He didn't lose it from himself. Oh, that if he hits them, they're dead. And he hit them. They're all dead. All right, so that worked out really well. Four for four. And a rune. Okay, and I think that we are done. All right, so um, we're, we got the, the little progression going on here for the Baroness. We got the Gersus Pass going to end tomorrow, and then, of course, Haxter is going to come in, and that's going to run for two days. I don't know if they're going to put anything else in there. I'm guessing that whatever event is going to follow, my guess would be a maze, because just before we started doing these little progressions, we had a race. I wouldn't want to see another race now. I think a maze would be good, maybe like a 25-day one, you know, because you know what's going to come after that. Another race is going to come after that. So I'm in no rush. Although they might put this, um, this new event that they're working on, the... Um, the treasure cave, I wouldn't mind seeing what that's going to be all about. So I'm going to be working on ranking up Sparta. So that's the first egg in there. As soon as that one's done, I'm going to throw the second one in. Probably going to craft... Uh, so I, got a, I got a list of individuals that I need to craft. Uh, if I was to switch here to... 
legendary. Yeah, a lot of people have been sitting around here for a while. I, I actually, I have an egg for him, so I can actually do that and then see if um, it comes out with a good rune slot situation. If it doesn't, I just craft another one and give it a try. Where is, where is, um, he's down, he's down a bit because I only have 83 of him, right? Right, Sting Westclaw, that's it. So I, I think he's probably going to be the next one that I craft, even though I do have a lot of other ones who are kind of amazing. Um, and I still, I've got to be careful because I do have a bit of a problem. I'm working on the last upgrade for this one. Whenever I upgrade it, I put somebody in there. That's kind of the Thunder one, so I'm putting Thunder guys in there because, after all, these are Thunder ones over here. This one over here was like, wasn't metal, it was like magic and metal over there because the magic was up there. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for now, so I might very well do the testing video tomorrow. Um, at least the Countess and Shade Moon will be in there. I have to figure out who else is going to be in there. Might end up having to go with the Sentinel, even though I think, was there somebody else that I did? I don't remember. There might have been somebody else I did a feeding on. I'll have to see. I'm going to pick the three best ones that I can. Uh, because I want, I got a bunch of other guys who are going to be coming, and I don't want to do any waiting because I want those those two available as soon as possible. Besides, I want to do some testing with them. Now that you can just do some easy swaps of skills, I want to play with it. Anyway, thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games because games are fun. See ya.